is Tina with Sit Happens Dog Training and Behavior and the Pot Cake Project and I wanted to talk about those awesome surprise socialization experiences that you don't really plan for and kind of how to give you some guidelines on how to handle them. Ideally when you're doing socialization with your dog, distance is your friend. You want to work at a significant enough distance that your dog is not um, is just mildly aware of the stimulus and that you can keep things sub-threshold and the dog being really happy. Um, that's just not always possible and I'll give you an example of how it happened. I was training with Marco in the front yard. We were using a leash because we were not in a fenced area and even though he's off leash reliable and um, we were working on getting in and out of the caravan because for whatever reason he's fussing about that and not wanting to get in and out of the caravan. So he's been doing really well and we've been working on it. Again he was on a leash and sure enough a neighbor comes around the corner with her two dogs. Um, Marco loses his mind. He's barking, his hackles are up, his tail's like you are a problem over there and basically is just losing his marbles. Um, I just smiled to the neighbor and waved and said, hey, how are you? I'm so sorry, we're working on it. When he turned and looked at me, I reinforced him for checking in with me. He got some food. He turned around and went ar, 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 at them again. When he turned around and looked at me, yay, and we had a little party. He went ar, 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 at them again, and, we, and this was repeated multiple times because boy, he could hear him through the whole subdivision. Um, it's embarrassing, it's hard, to not come down on your dog and go, no, 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 stop it, because you don't want your dog to be mean. But the reality is, all of Marco's body language was he was afraid of those dogs and that lady. Um, and me turning into a lunatic isn't going to make him less afraid. So it just means we go back to walking more and interacting more and seeing dogs coming our way and learning to check in with mommy that she'll keep everything safe and secure and he doesn't have to worry about it. Um, it's hard. To remember that in the moment but I like to really remind people because if you bring a bunch of extra pressure to the situation by scolding your dog or yelling at them or having a, a overt re response yourself it can actually make the dog's fear bigger and then I would end up potentially with a dog who's nasty with other people or dogs that come on the property um, Marco is seven months old. He's at that age where he thinks he has to tell everybody to stay out of the yard. It's a developmental norm and one that we're just going to work on and help him become more confident so that he doesn't worry about that silly Jack Russell and Australian Shepherd going for a walk in the neighborhood. So I just wanted to give you a pointer on how to work on something like this where socialization kind of throws you a curveball that you weren't planning for. So this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and Behavior in the Pot Cake Project. If you're enjoying this series, please like us on Facebook. You can subscribe on YouTube and feel free to share the videos. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.